the Insane Gamers, and welcome back to another Pokemon Black and White Wi-Fi battle. Today, I'm fighting the Pokemon Athlete. I don't really know. It was some guy on TPX. I was just like, hey, want to battle? And he's like, yeah, sure. Uh, this battle was really hexy, and I didn't like it at all. It was hexy, and it was really hexy. And did I mention it was hexy? Anyhow, I knew we would leave with that, because I was in with Hitmonlee, and I led with Ugwake. You know the drill. So anyway, I'm pretty sure he's going to switch this turn. Uh, I just went for the Stealth Rock which played a pretty crucial role in this game, I have to say. Anyway, it switches into Arcanine. I have to <laughs> I have to say, this guy's team basically counters my entire team. And, like, I, I can't really get switch advantage or switch into anything, because all of his stuff can kill me! Anyhow, uh, I get my Stealth Rocks up, and I'm like, well, maybe I'll live. And, um... Yeah, maybe not, I just die, so uh, that's the end of Mammoth Swine, and not even my giant tusks, which apparently are made of ice. I never knew that, but in a Pokedex it says that its tusks are made of ice. That's kind of strange, how do they not melt? Anyway, I'm going to send in Alakazam now, because it's at minus one, and I want to get a freaking Psychic off. Uh, he switches into this, I'm like, eh, whatever, I mean, Psychic's still going to do a lot, and I don't really know what it's going to do, but I know what I'm going to do to it! So that did a uh, pretty good amount of damage, and I used Focus Blast then, and I miss. I don't usually miss Focus Blast that often, I mean, once in a blue moon. Anyway, I was like, whatever, I'm sashed, I'll just get you next turn. I'll get you next time, gadget. Mmm, cornflakes. Anyway, miss Focus Blast again, because, you know, we can't hit a fat tub of lard. How wide is that thing? Like, come on, Alakazam. It's, it's like, so freaking fat, I don't know how you can miss it. Anyway, I'm going to send in feats, and predicting the switch, I'm going to go for an ankle kick. Oh, by the way, I'm down to four, because, you know, I would have loved to have Alakazam, but I just got killed because I missed. Anyhow, uh, you go for ankle kick, and I lower this guy's speed. That's probably a good thing, considering his name is Zoom. I don't know, and it's an offensive set. Did you see how much damage that did? So I'm thinking Life Orb Reckless High Jump Kick might actually kill this, so let's try it. And wow, it did. That is amazing. So I just killed a freaking Altaria with a fighting attack. That is pro. Sends in a Slowbro now. Can't even touch it, and there's no point in Sucker Punching, because it's probably gonna, like... I don't know, Calm Mind or something, so I just switch out, and, um, you know how beastly Milotic is, it's just gonna, it's just gonna sponge, it's, it's like, it's, it's the ultimate attack sponge. By the way, this isn't a team, this is random guys I had in my box put together, and I'm calling it a team. So he keeps Calm Minding, I'm, yeah, I don't really care, I'm, I'm dragon tailing him out, because I don't want to deal with a Slowbro right now. I mean, Slowbro is just annoying. Now, I do have Weavile on this team. You might not have noticed it because, like, the splash screen went by pretty quickly. But I do have it! So, I'm kind of saving it in the back because Weavile can basically kill every one of his Pokemon when I whittle them down. So, that's what I'm going for. Anyway, in comes this thing again. I guess that's his signature Pokemon. Maybe that means this guy's pretty fat. I don't know. Um, anyway, I'm going to send in my Turtle. And, uh, <laughs> well, we like taking body slams. I mean, we can take them pretty well. So... I know this thing has a bunch of HP, because it's such a fat freaking tub of lard, eats at McDonald's every day, probably, uh, likes Five Guys Burgers and Fries, I wouldn't be surprised. Get it? That rhymed? Anyway, I'm getting a crap ton of HP back from this Leech Seed, because this thing has so much HP, uh, which is great. So now I'm going to predict the switch to Star Raptor, and I don't have a Stone Attack, or a Rock Attack, or anything that can really hurt this, so I just went for the Seed Bomb. And, uh, well, as you would expect, it does nothing. And now I'm completely boned, because it's gonna use Brave Bird, and I can't take it with anything. So, maybe I'll live, question mark. I was thinking to myself, but, you know, of course, that's not gonna happen. But on the plus side, uh, because of he, because of the fact that he used Brave Bird, look at that freaking recoil! That means I can send in my real man now and just Ice Shard it to death. Um, I... I was, uh, fearing the Scarf, so I just went for the priority. Uh, I mean, not that I wouldn't have killed anyway, but, you know. Uh, so down goes that guy, which is awesome, because that thing... <laughs> God, Star Raptor is a beast. Okay, Arcanine. This is the last thing standing in my Weavile's way. My, you know, I, I can't, I cannot obtain victory with this tiger, dog, fluffy thing in the way. Anyway, um, I'm pretty sure he's not going to close combat. Actually, I wasn't pretty sure. <laughs> I, w I thought he was, but this is the only thing I can do. So I was just like, screw it. He might, he might use Flare Blitz, just, just because. And luckily, he does. Um, so, um, Milotic's going to take that pretty well. Is this guy Bandit? Because that's doing a lot of damage to my Milotic. I mean, I this Milotic has defensive EVs. Um, 
But anyway, I'm just going to finish him off with a boiling water now. Luckily, <laughs> you know, I, I guess that was kind of lucky on my part that they did use Flare Blitz. But hey, I'm not going to even talk about me getting lucky in this battle because you're going to see what's coming up. It really just like grinds my freaking gears like a like a Gigaisu or what's it called? The Gigear. Gigear. Yeah, I didn't get a chance to use Gear Change because I was just grinding my freaking gears. Um, I, yeah, I can't drive stick, I'll admit it. Okay, so Nido King, typical lie, you, you, Nido King, send in real man, complete counter. I'm gonna kill you with Ice Punch now! Bam! Um, I don't know why he didn't switch, but, uh, he didn't, so that's kinda cool, and that goes down. And now he's gonna send in his fat thing! Which, you know, I, I was just thinking, Snorlax, the way its belly moves, it, it, it's it, it's just wrong. It just doesn't look right, you know, because it's like a giant balloon. I mean, oh, whatever. So now he's going to send in his last poke, and I'm like, okay, I have this game in the freaking bag. I mean, come on now. What What is he going to do? I, I'll be able to easily two hit kill with Night Slash, maybe even get a crit. So I was thinking, yeah, that's cool. Then he uses Boiling Water. Ah, <sighs> this is where things take a turn for a worse. Of course he would get the burn! I mean, why wouldn't he get the burn? It's a 30% chance to get it, so... Heck, have two burns! Have three! Screw it! Have all the burns in the world, because it's a freaking 30% chance! Now I'm hoping for a crit, which... I think is... With... Night Slash 12%, I think? So... I'm basically just hoping for a crit here, because if I can get a crit with Night Slash, I can win. So I'm just like, crit, 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 get a freaking crit, you stupid game, I need some luck. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this, it's ridiculous. So he kills me, because I'm burned, and uh, all I have left is Hitmonlee. And all Hitmonlee can do to this is Sucker Punch, so... Yes. <laughs> Bit of a problem here. Anyway, I go for the sucker punch. I'm like, come on, just kill it. Oh, you suck. Get out of here. So, yeah, I uh, had a 30% chance to lose, and it happened. I don't count this as a loss, because that was the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. It's more ridiculous than Sarah Palin. Okay, anyway, guys, rage. See you next time.